Hey, I'm Ben Wilmore, and I got some equipment tips for you for Inside Digital Photo. I've, over the years, gone tired of uh, backpacks from a camera gear because I find I always need to find a good place to set it down, and I also need to decide, is the photo I'm thinking of taking worth taking that backpack off to switch lenses? Right now, I'm wearing my alternative, which is a belt-based system. This is made by a company called Think Tank Photo. They're at thinktankphoto.com. And I'll show you how it works. When I'm shooting, I obviously can just shoot and the bag does not get in my way, move my arms as much as I want. When I want to switch to a different lens, I simply reach behind me, slide one of these pouches to the side or front so I can access it, and then I can access a lens very quickly like this. So the amount of time it takes me to switch from a big lens to a small one is just take the cap off. that fast. Then I can take the lens that I just removed from the camera, insert it into this bag. This bag is less than ideal for this style of lens, so usually I would keep an extra pouch here to put a smaller lens in, but for now I can put it there. When I'm done using this lens, this is how fast it is to switch. All I need to do is drop this lens into here, and pull up on the zipper. And it's not gonna come out of there once that zipper's up. Slide it off to the side. For smaller lenses, I use a different style of pouch. This is what it looks like. In these pouches, I can put my lenses always with the lens hood on. My lens cap is usually in the outer portion of this bag. And it's really easy to get a lens in here with any kind of lens hood on it. You just put it in here. Usually I get the edge of the lens uh, hood in there and just kind of twist as you put it in. Then if you're worried about it falling out because you might be leaning over or something, you can pull this cinch and it'll crimp around it. Also, if you think you're gonna be in an area where there's dust or other things, there is a little uh, flap here that I can put over the lens before I pull this cinch. And that will prevent a lot of stuff from getting in there. Also at the bottom of this bag, if I were to pull the lens out, there is a full rain hood with sealed seams so if I'm gonna be hitting some heavy rain, I can completely cover the bag. I've found that using this system makes it much faster for shooting, especially with a big lens. And it doesn't matter if I'm standing in the middle of a river or anything else. I don't have to think about where to put down my backpack. I also have a third bag on here, which I use for my accessories. This is where I have my cable release, filters, extra batteries, extra compact flash cards, and I can access them very quickly. The whole system is nice because if I ever need to get into a position where I might need to sit down in a car or something else, I can move them off to the sides so I can sit. Or if I need to shoot down low, you move them to wherever they're comfortable and you can uh, easily maneuver. When I'm done or I need to get in a vehicle for an extended period of time, I simply undo the belt and right behind me I just clasp it again and there it is. So the amount of time it takes for me to go from car to out shooting is a matter of seconds. And this has completely changed the way I shoot, where I absolutely love it. Again, it's from Think Tank Photo, and it's called the Modulus System. One suggestion I would make is they have different sized bags for different types of lenses, like a smaller bag for a, a, a fixed lens, larger bags for other kinds. What I would suggest you actually do is get one size bag for all lenses that are close to this size. A bag that I like to use is called a Lens Changer 50. That way, if I have a bunch of these on the belt, I don't have to care about which pouch a lens goes into. If I'm pulling a small lens out of a bag, taking a big lens off the camera, I can put it right back into the same pouch. Then the only other thing I would do is get this. This is known as a whip it out. This is what you can use for a 70 to 200 or 100 to 400. You simply unzip the zipper, lens comes right out. And if I'm going to use a big lens on a tripod, I have a different bag that can handle the lens with a tripod collar. That's from thinktankphoto.com. For more information about this system and other products that I like, visit my blog at whereisben.com. Also on the site, you'll find information about the individual pouches I prefer to use, and I also have talked them into a discount code where if you spend more than $50, you can get one of these 
pouches for free. That way it'll, it'll cut down your cost. The total cost I end up spending on these is between $150 and $300, depending on how many pouches you need. Also, visit my corporate website at digitalmastery.com. Thanks for watching.